Right now it's August 14th, 2017, and I'm making a video here uh, for some Bernina Designer Plus version 7 software that I'm selling. And uh, I'm going to be including a Dell laptop computer. So uh, note the date of the video because chances are that maybe when you're watching this, this, this item has been long sold. But it has some good information in it as far as using an older inexpensive laptop with a Bernina 180 or machines like the 165, 170, 180, and the 185 because they are not USB port machines. I have another video that I posted years back on using an adapter to go from the 9-pin or DB9 COM port to a USB computer. Uh, but that adapter that I show in that video might not be available anymore. If it is, uh, the one thing you have to make sure of is you get the correct firmware from the trip light manufacturer that makes that adapter work. I've since found out there's some other adapters uh, that Best Buy sells and I believe Radio Shack, although I think they're going out of business. The, some of the better adapters work. There's, there's an adapter that's made in China that's just a USB cord with a blue DB9 plug on it and they don't work. They don't work. You need a good adapter that will communicate with a USB computer. So that's enough on that subject. Um, the reason for this video is to show the, the older Dell laptop that I am including along with this Bernina Designer Plus software. This software is actually, the tag will say update because this was full version Bernina Designer Plus V6 and it was updated to V7. This is fully functional fully updated Bernina Designer Plus software. Now, the advantage of getting an older computer like this for owners of these machines that do not have a USB port on them is that this machine has a COM port and I have the regular DB9 type um, COM port plug plugged right into the computer. No adapter needed. And this starts getting into another subject about the 180, and it's another reason why I'm making the video is because I don't want to detract from my laptop ad and what I'm selling and then start to get into a conversation in my ad about the 180. So it's actually much easier for me to do this in a video. So I'll show you what happens when I hooked up my, when I have the Designer Plus Granina software opened. And this will work for other versions of Bernina software as well. You could have v version 4, version 5. You could have uh, version 6. You could have Editor Lite. But using, and again, using an older laptop skips the need for using an adapter here. So with the software open and the embroidery module on the machine, I plugged in the COM port plug here to the computer and this is the, uh, some lettering I put together to show what I'm selling in the ad and what you do here is you go without I didn't change any settings in the software I just went to to write it says write to card machine and I'll tell you about that in a moment here I went to that because I want to write this design to the machine and I tapped on that and I'll show you what comes up here this screen comes up now the 180 takes the art format designs but it shows a USB symbol and you don't want those and you don't have a deco so it shows the COM port sim signal so you want the you want the computer the software in this computer to look for the COM port so we're going to select that and it's going to say select your COM port now chances are if you have one COM port on your laptop it's going to be COM1. If for some reason that doesn't work or doesn't communicate you can you can try entering the number two or three or four but chances are you're going to be COM port 1. So we're going to select OK. See what happens.
Now I did this before, so I knew what screen was going to pop up here, but it, it took about 15, 20 seconds, and the computer did detect that this was hooked up to an Artista 180, so that comes up. Now this brings up a subject here on the embroidery modules. I should have grabbed another embroidery module to show you, but on the 180 systems, 165, 170, even 185, the memory for these modules is in the circuitry in the module itself. Usually they're marked with a sticker. If you have a module that has memory in it, it's going to be marked with a sticker. It's going to say you might have a 2 megabyte uh, module, you might have a 4 megabyte module, and that's how much memory is built into the module. In the case here of this one, there's no sticker on here. Now your sticker could have fallen off too. It's something you'd have to check. But there is no memory in this module. What happens then is for your memory or to send any designs to a machine, you're dependent on a design card that might have designs on it already, but to use software and send a design to your machine, you're going to need a personal design card that specifically works for the Artista 180 series machines include this also work for 165 170 there are other cards that look like this that do not work with a 180 they might work with a 200 or a 730 that have a design card slot in the side here so if you're going to search for one of these personal design this is a blank rewritable memory card you need to find one that will work with a 180 be sure of that i can't stress that enough so because this module does not have memory built into it, it is dependent on a blank embroidery design card. Usually, sometimes, right now, the machine icon is selected here as to where you're going to send the design. You would either send the design to an a, uh, embroidery card, the blank one I showed you, or the machine. Sometimes it will show the machine as 100% filled up because there is no, see, I was just trying something here. It says insert the personal design card into the card because the software is smart enough that it knows that I don't have a card in here. Let me select the machine. I just want to show you that sometimes if you select the machine, you have no memory in it, it will show 100% usage. So let's do what it's asking me to right now. We're going to take the personal design card, put it in the design card slot, and we are going to select the personal design card. Your screen turns blank for a little bit when that, when you select that. That is normal. This is the design I had up on the screen, and this is the arrow to send it to. It says ready for data exchange. This is the arrow here. Now to send, I should be able to send this to the machine. I haven't tried this yet, so let's see what happens. That doesn't do anything. Let's see what I'm, I don't want to screw the video up at this time because it's coming out okay. I have selected the personal design card, okay, and the screen turned blank here when I did that. So you're learning along with me. It's been a while since I have done this, and I thought I could select that, and it would start sending this design. Now maybe I have to select this design. Boy, I sure hate to mess up at this point because the video is turning out well. Ready for data exchange. That's You click on that symbol to select another Bernina. I apologize for this. I didn't try this in advance. Show design properties. Now that's okay. And this is for stitch out selected design. Let's try that. Now something's happening. There we go. See, you're learning along with me. 
It's running the data exchange program. It's sending the design to the machine. Embroidery design successively sent to embroidery system for stitch out. Right now we're seeing the little time thing and look at this, here it's coming in now. Bernina Designer Plus and Dell Laptop Computer. Hey, I did it and you learned along with me. If you've watched any of my videos, you know they're not filled with BS. I just, I just tell you like it is. That's great. And then we're going to go through the thing about, you know, ra raising the, raising the presser foot. And at this point, you're going to attach your hoop. It would be a large hoop. And uh, there you go. Of course, no embroidery hoop attached. We know that. So there's some good information, and you learned along with me a couple things, because I haven't done this in a while. Let's select OK here. It says embroidery design successfully sent to the machine. And then it goes back to the main screen. So that's pretty much how you do it. I'm just fumbling along here, but I got it to work for you, fortunately. And this will give you some extra information on using an older laptop. Nice older laptops are available for, you know, two, three hundred dollars on eBay. And sometimes it's much easier to get an old laptop and use it just for embroidery. Embroidery designs are really small files. And they don't take a lot of processing power, even when you're doing digitizing and things like that. You might have to wait a little bit extra on an older, slower laptop, but you can definitely use an older laptop with a nice older machine. It's sure a heck of a lot cheaper than buying a newer Bernina just because you want a machine with a USB port on it. Think about what you'd spend if you had a, a Bernina setup like this that you know works great, but you're frustrated because you can't get designs from the computer into the machine, buying an older laptop or even an older uh, PC desktop model that runs Windows XP. I have one that I got at a yard sale uh, that I use for changing firmware versions on these machines. I got an older uh, PC model for uh, $10 at a yard sale. It was like brand new. It just sat and nobody used it. Uh, one note about older computers is they generally last forever, but the one thing that will wear out in an older computer is the hard drive because the hard drive is a mechanically is a mechanical device with a spinning pallet in it and a little little arm on it that that, that noise that you hear the little eh, 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 that a computer's doing it's the little arm searching for data on the spinning pallet so the Hard drives are mechanical items and they're not hard to replace. Any computer shop could put a new hard drive in for you and they're not expensive and it's really not an expensive process. And basically taking an older computer even if it had, has a lot of hours on it and you put a new hard drive in it that costs maybe a hundred bucks and you've got $200 in the computer, uh, Gosh, you can't beat that compared to the price of a new Bernina. I mean, face it, and, and this isn't going to stitch out any different than a Bernina 580 that's going to cost you over $3,000. So it's a system that's hard to beat. It's a Bernina. They stitch great. In fact, the, uh, the, the frame and the mechanics on the 180 is the same as a Bernina 200, is the same as a Bernina 730, that generation is all the same. The only difference on the 200 and the 730 is they have a different mechanism in the bobbin system for a thread cutter. The 180 uh, does not have a thread cutter. The 730 and 165 are CB hook machines. And the CB, none of the CB hook machines have a auto thread cutter. So there's some real practical, say it like it is, device for owners of older Berninas and a way to use newer software and send designs into your older machine. Don't let somebody tell you anywhere that you can't use 